everyone um, welcome to my channel actually this is a video for people who have love and passion for arts uh, especially African arts and yes I am African and yes I like arts from uh, artwork from my continent and that's something that I want to share with you it's something from the Kuba Kingdom and the Kuba Kingdom I'm very proud of it because I already talked about that a little bit in my blog and I share with you some pictures of this artwork that women were doing, the queens and women were doing at the time when the kingdom was still existing. The Kuba kingdom was uh, somewhere, uh, precisely I would say, uh, Congo, Congo area, the Congo DRC, so the Democratic Republic of, Cong Republic of Congo. So that kingdom, because there were many kingdoms in Africa, there were many kingdoms, there were many empires. But what happened in the history of the continent is like when Europeans came in Africa, they completely altered the civilization, they actually destroyed many monuments and they took away with them some arts that our ancestors left to us. They took them away without our permission. So many things have been completely falling apart. Kingdom were completely, uh, more completely, uh, I mean, completely disappeared with them. Since when they came from Europe, the European came, they destroyed many things. So basically, that what happened. And in the history, so many things have been gone and destroyed. I mean, willingly destroyed. So we couldn't have any more like real, like authentic things. So. To find something authentic now from the old time, from the old civilization that we have in Africa is now difficult. Or you find them in European museum, or you find them like difficult, it's really difficult. But I'm glad I have something from the history that I keep with me, and I'm very glad I have it with me. It's very expensive, but it's very something that I want to share, and that is very important. So the Kuba Kingdom was in the Congo DRC area. That kingdom never had any crisis. That kingdom was very stable and prosperous. But what happened is when the European came in this area of Congo, by the time they were changing the civilization, altering everything, the lifestyle and everything, this kind of kingdom couldn't resist because something has completely changed. So they little by little disappeared. The Kuba kingdom is like um, they will really have many things. They have like things for kings like the shelf, African shells. They also have a lot of, of carpet handmade with raffia. I mean I don't know how they did it before but it's amazing. Handmade work with by women and that's something I want to share with you. I want to show you to you like now. If you saw if you saw in my blog you will see that I have some picture but picture are not really good. I like to share them like you know. So that's kind of very special. This is only made with fiber, vegetable fibers, incredible. Handmade. Handmade, completely handmade. And that's what women used to do. You can see how it's beautiful, the design. This is African people did it. So that kind of carpet is very expensive. This is living room, but I still keep it because I still keep it because I need to know exactly how to make decoration with that. It's beautiful. So I'm very careful because as you can see here. It's sometimes, sometimes things happen, so I have to be very careful. This is really made of digital, only digital, and that is wonderful. That is the back. That is 
in the front. There is the front here. And that's the size. Then they have something very long. I'm very proud of it. Sometimes I put it on my sofa. On my, oh, I don't know how to say in English. So that is very pretty long. And you can see how it is. This is wonderful. Only maybe fibers, vegetal fibers. This is from the Kuba Kingdom. Wonderful. Wonderful work. It's like a very long, long stuff. And this is the back. So they were making that in this kingdom. That's why it's very expensive. So I can never ever sell it. I can never give it as a gift because that is very expensive. I cannot. This is another one. This is beautiful as well. Look at the design. Here and then they did something here. As you can see, this is the back here. You can see how the digital fiber is in here. Ah. Yeah. And this is it's wonderful. Look at the design again. Only vegetal fibers. So they have a method, they use it, I don't know how, but they have a method the way they do that, and it's wonderful. I think it's beautiful, that's why it's so expensive. And that's the back. Very beautiful, and it's a square. This one. Sometimes when I put it on the floor, I have like candles at night and I like to put it on the top of it. <coughs> you can see the design here. <coughs> it, it really smells digital. It's really digital. It's beautiful. So, people of the kingdom are really gifted, they are really talented. And that's many kingdom in Africa. They are creating stuff that really I don't know if you still have this kind of gift or talent, I don't know, because this is beautiful. That's a lot of work, a lot of work. And I'm very proud I have that with me and I can never sell. That's how the mafia looks like, like in a very raw, like natural state, right? Raw. So I don't know how they came from this. this it's incredible. They have somewhere to do that. I don't know how they did it, but it's incredible. It's, it's really amazing. And we have Fia um, from Gabon, which is way different, but look the way they did it. It's very special from Gabon. Like That was all about the um, the Kuba, the Kuba, sorry, the Kuba Kingdom, the Kuba Kingdom um, hard work. So that's basically what I want to show you. But the raffia is amazing, and my young sister she usually she likes to use raffia to do a little bit of her uh, bites and stuff like that. She likes to use it a lot, so it's beautiful. People use raffia for clothing also in Africa. They use raffia for bags, bag purse for women. They do many things with raffia, it's really beautiful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you for next video.